Well, the place where farmers and consumers come together most often is at the table. In this encore presentation of Feasting on Agriculture, we get a lesson in cooking a great steak directly from a rancher. Feasting on Agriculture with A.J. Sabine is brought to you by the Louisiana Crawfish Promotion and Research Board. Louisiana Crawfish, ask before you eat. By the Louisiana Rice Promotion Board, rice, a world of great ideas. And by the Louisiana Beef Industry Council, beef, it's what's for dinner. everyone and welcome to Feasting on Agriculture. I am your host, AJ Sabine. You know what? I love food. No, you don't understand. I love food. And in my quest to find the best flavors across Louisiana, it occurred to me, why not go where farmers get their food? Or better yet, where do restaurants go to get the flavors that make their menus remarkable? So my journey has taken me here to Iberia Parish, to the Gonsalant Land and Cattle Operation just outside of Lauraville. I'm going to introduce you to Dr. Shannon Gonsalan, a local veterinarian who has taken the farm to table movement in a whole new tasty direction. Now let me see, let me see if Dr. Gonsalan, Shannon, as he likes to be called, let's see if he's in. The sign says closed, but I'm sure he may be in there. Let's just see. Shannon! Hey man. hey man, how you doing? Good to see you. Good Thank you so you much too. for having us. Well, it's a pleasure to be here. So we're here at the Gonsalant Land and Cattle Company, right? Yes, sir. What is your operation all about? Mainly we have a, a, a grass-fed beef operation um, that we uh, sell our product to uh, several local stores, uh, local producers um, um, uh, help us feed our product. It's, it's kind of a niche, a niche program that we have. Can you explain to folks what the difference is in terms of grass-fed beef versus conventional? It's, it's really not rocket science. Um, the, uh, we, we still can do our herd health program, our routine vaccinations. Um, the only three things that we don't do is we don't implant with any hormones uh, to increase growth. We don't uh, use any antibiotics uh, in the feed um, or in general. Um, and we don't feed them any processed grain. A lot of times it takes those animals about 18 to 24 months to get to a 1,000 to 1,200 pound weight range. In the conventional beef, they're there within you know, 12 to 14 months. They're a 1,200 pound animal because they got processed feed going to them and they're just being pushed harder. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna go ahead and cook the, put the ones in that are not seasoned, okay? Okay. Some people say if you put them in, if you salt them beforehand, the salt will dry them out because it tends to draw out the fluid. So how long should we let these cook on each side? Probably about, uh, on this low heat, probably maybe five or 10 minutes. Um, and we watch for the burn. You know, you try to watch on the side of the beef mm -hmm. where you're gonna start getting the, 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 the cook level come up. And when it gets to halfway, we flip them. What is the advantage of cooking on the cast iron skillet? I just, I just, I don't know, my grandma did it and doggone ashes. <laughs> hey, tradition, tradition is a big part of know? cooking, man. Uh, if you get used to cooking with a cast iron pot, you throw every damn thing else away. It's, it's the most versatile pan that you it can is. ever own. I mean, you can literally cook everything from pancakes right. to cornbread to meat, and stews, right. everything. Yeah, when we come back, we'll have these steaks hot and sizzling and ready to taste. Stick around, we'll be right back. All right, guys, it's the moment of truth, my favorite part of the whole cooking segment, the tasting part. And we want to thank Shannon Gonsalant from Gonsalant Land and Cattle Company for having us out here. You, my friend, have prepared a wonderful, wonderful steak. Thank you. Let's uh, dive into this. Now, you said this is medium rare, right? Should be, yes. Perfectly pink in the middle. Mmm. Different flavor, mm. different flavor mm. profile. It's, it's, a, it's, it's wonderfully beefy. Yeah, yeah. It's got a real hearty, you know, I mean, you can't come out to a cattle ranch and not have steak. I mean, come on. It's absolutely fantastic. Great, right? great. Thank you. So good. Well, folks, thank you so much for joining us. Feasting on agriculture, it certainly has been an excellent feast. I want to thank Shannon Gonston again for providing the steak and the tour of the hospitality. If you want more information about Louisiana beef products or feasting on agriculture, log on our website at twilighttv.org. We'll see you next time.
Feasting on Agriculture with A.J. Sabine was brought to you by the Louisiana Crawfish Promotion and Research Board. Louisiana Crawfish, ask before you eat. By the Louisiana Rice Promotion Board, rice, a world of great ideas. And by the Louisiana Beef Industry Council, beef, it's what's for dinner.